Hello, this video is going to be another MetaHuman creator video where I really push the shape of this character uh, outside of MetaHuman creator to see how much the rig can cope with it and I think I could probably push it quite far and I do push it quite far here and I end up with this nice uh, alien type head so I start with this zombie looking uh, face shape and skin inside MetaHuman and make as many changes as possible. I remove all the hairs as well because we can always add hairs later in next gen and yeah just get it to a, a close point that you can see here. Here you can see me also adjusting the teeth uh, trying to get more plaque and more irregular using the sliders available and just darkening the eyes and cheeks so it's a pretty good zombie base this and we're going to use this as the basis for our alien head so i've downloaded it and exported to maya here i'm using the pipeline that i've shown before uh, which is a a tutorial that I've got on ArtStation. I'll put a link below to that. So this is the base head and I'm just removing parts that I don't need and these are the extra meshes that are around the eyes that I need to be mindful of and if I need to scale the eyeballs up that's perfectly possible but it's important to do it at the, the mesh level not the object level. So I made a duplicate of the meshes here and brought them out and delete uh, by type history. That way I can take these meshes, bring them into ZBrush and make adjustments which you're going to see here. So inside ZBrush, I just want to load the exported mesh set in and you'll see that's it loaded. And this is just sped up, checking that the UVs also come in. And I'm just using symmetry to pull the eyes, make bulbous eyes and bulbous head, reduce the ears. I'm thinking this is a kind of human alien hybrid type of face. So it's still got some human features and small ears and reduced nose and uh, the, the smaller mouth. Uh, here you can see me making adjustments to the, the tear line, uh, which kind of makes the eyes look wet. I just have to match the eyes as close as possible here. And the symmetry didn't work so well, so I have to do each individually. Uh, if you want a good reference of this, if you download the MetaHuman to Maya, just take a good while to observe how these meshes fit and I wouldn't worry them about them being too perfect but good enough and then I've got the eyeballs here so I'm scaling them up this does look quite freaky at this point so I know it's working well and let's check all the mesh make sure everything works I can see that the eyeballs are too far forward now so I thought I'll make the 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 shell uh, further out but in, in the end I just push the eyeballs back a bit. So now that that's done I uh, export everything individually uh, back out. Don't merge anything, uh, don't combine it or anything like that. There's a chance that uh, you might break the UVs in case you need those meshes but really we just want that base head. We can make changes to anything else later. Okay, so I'm just going to use the head and just scale the eyes up inside Maya. So I bring in the head uh, and I use the blended method that you see in my tutorial to get to that head shape. And then I've scaled the eyes up at the mesh level and adjust them. Okay. And if I wanted, I could go ahead and add X-Gen hairs to this. Uh, I could change the texture. And you can see uh, me just messing around with the face rig to show that it's working. And I've, I've got these fine tuners for making sure the eyes close. 
and all these other fine-tuned things and making sure that everything that I need to work does work and yeah it holds up pretty well this would export to Unreal Engine perfectly nicely again you can use the tutorial to guide you through that but this is a great way of getting customized characters such as aliens and zombies so thanks for watching this video hope you enjoy making these